Corona, who's in Flagstaff for us, Michael. For at least the 15th time this month, the Trump campaign hit Arizona, this time in the normally Democratic-leaning Flagstaff. Vice President Mike Pence touching down for another campaign stop in Arizona. It's exciting because we don't normally get to see a living president or vice president. This month, though, it's become the norm to see President Trump, his kids, or Pence coming to town as polls show it's a tight race in battleground Arizona. We need to decide right here and right now that Joe Biden will never be president of the United States. The rally hoping to provide a boost to those who may need it on Election Day, or at least one last pitch to voters in a down-to-the-wire Senate race. And look at what is at stake for you and your family. Uh, look at my record. Uh, I've been fighting for Arizona. I've been delivering for Arizona. But outside of the rally, well, voters have all sorts of opinions. That they're dedicated. They are trying to get as many people in. And it feels a little bit like pandering to come to a small town. It doesn't change my vote. I don't think it sways anybody. But this rally was made up of folks not only coming from Flagstaff, but more rural Republican-leaning areas like Sholo, who are vital to any re-election hopes for the president. That's the silent majority you're going to see come out on November 3rd. We got four more days to win four more years. And those last four days are going to be filled with campaigning from both sides until those votes are cast on Election Day. We're in Flagstaff. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Michael.